What is up guys, Hammer here with another video for you. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up your audio for your Go XLR or your Go XLR Mini. That's going to include setting your channels, assigning things to your faders, and setting up any microphone that you have to get the best possible sound. So as you probably already know, it's fairly simple to set up the Go XLR, but with a little help you can make it sound even better. It's going to be sounding extremely professional, and it's honestly one of the best devices I've ever owned. I'm extremely happy with my purchase. I love the Go XLR. I love my microphone now. I, I, all my audio is just, it's so much easier. So if you guys enjoy these videos, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss the next time I post a video. And if you want to hang out with us on my live stream on Twitch, I will drop a link to that down below as well. I go live usually weeknights around 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. All right, guys, so let's jump in. All right, guys, so obviously the first step is to plug your Go XLR in to your gaming PC. If you are using a dual PC setup, you're gonna plug your Go XLR into your gaming PC via USB, um, and then you're going to run an aux cable from the line out port on your Go XLR to the line in port on your streaming PC. That's going to transfer all the audio from your Go XLR, basically everything from your gaming PC over to your streaming PC. So once you've done that and you've plugged it in, you're gonna download the software from their website and we're gonna take a look at the software now. I'm gonna bring it up. All right, so mine is basically already set up, but we're gonna go through everything as if we just plugged it in. So the first thing you're gonna do is set up your microphone. So it's gonna pop up with the mic setup options right here. You're going to choose between your dynamic mic, your condenser mic, or your 3.5 millimeter microphone. I'm using a dynamic mic, which is the Shure SM7B, so I'm on dynamic. Um, when you get this, when you get to this part, you're going to choose what type of microphone you have, just like I have here, and then you are going to adjust your gain until your microphone is hitting the good range. Um, anywhere between here and here is great for just normal speaking. Obviously, if you speak louder, it's going to jump up, but we want to keep it in that range. Um, that's perfect for me. If you're using a condenser microphone, it's going to be a little bit lower. Uh, you're going to be probably around like 20 to 30 gain, maybe even lower if you have an extremely sensitive mic. But for the sake of this video, I'm using a dynamic mic. I have it at 65 dB gain, and that's perfect for me, and my vocals come out crisp and clear, and it gets a nice signal. Um, so after you choose that, come down here and hit OK, and it's gonna look like this. We're gonna minimize all those. So you're gonna see these basic settings right here. You're gonna have a noise gate. For those of you who don't know what a noise gate does, is it kind of minimizes the background noise. Um, so the microphone basically shuts down and closes when there's no, no noise like this. And then when you talk, it opens up, so you don't get that like hissing, like background noise. Um, so mess around with your noise gate because you definitely want to do that to minimize any background noise, especially if you're in a noisy environment. So for me, I found that putting it at 20 was perfectly fine. Really with the noise gate, you don't have to mess with any of the other settings except for maybe the attenuation. If this is too high, you will get hissing in the background. So just, you know, record yourself or listen to yourself in your headphones and just adjust this until you don't get that hissing from when you stop talking to when you start talking again. Um, attack, you want to keep that at 10 milliseconds, and then your release, 200 milliseconds, is perfectly normal. So you can kind of just leave this like this, put it at 20, and then adjust your attenuation here. All right, so this is where it, it gets kind of important to know what you're doing um, to make your microphone sound good. So we're going to hit the equalizer here. We're going to open it up so that we can actually see the frequencies in here. So for my microphone, it is, it's pretty heavy on mids, um, and mids are, you know, that mid-level range of where my vocals sound. Um, so there's a good bass to it, but there wasn't enough crispness to my voice. Like, like when I first got this microphone, I did a video on it, actually. There wasn't, my voice did not sound crisp, and I did not like it. Um, so I came into the equalizer. I left the lows, which is the 90 to 160 hertz range. I left those alone because I do want that nice, warm, bassy tone to my vocals. Um, but I did minus 1 dB from the mid-range, which is these two right here, to get out a little bit of that like muddiness that you get in your vocals. And then I boosted the hell out of the high end of my mic so that it sounds crisp and clear. Um, so again, these are some settings that you're going to adjust on your own, depending on what type of microphone you have and the sound that you're going for with your voice. So this is what worked for me. I took out a little bit in the mids, I left the bass, and then I boosted the high end a little bit to get a more crisp tone to my voice. All right, so that's it for that. If you want a more in-depth tutorial on this stuff, guys, for your microphone, just let me know, and I can do a video on that as well. But this is more of setting up your Go XLR. Um, so then you're going to come over to the compressor. 
really with the compressor you can kind of leave all these extra settings alone um, the standard settings are perfectly fine you can just adjust this until you get to a point where it sounds good and it's not too loud um, basically what a compressor does is it takes low sounds and boosts them higher and high sounds and boosts them lower and uh sorry and it takes high sounds and makes them lower so that everything is equal if you if you're looking at your audio as basically a line it keeps everything on the same line rather than having it go up and down up and down up and down um, so it sounds a little more professional so you definitely want to mess with that and a good thing to note here is that if you do need more gain if your microphone is really gain hungry and you don't have enough in the go xlr you can use makeup gain here in the compressor um, i wouldn't suggest using too much because that's how you get some distortion in your vocals but anyway, this isn't a microphone tutorial, I'm just giving you the basic setups here. So next we're going to move over to the Mixer tab. Basically what this is doing here is this is showing all your faders and um, what, what they are assigned to and what you want them to do if you hit the mute button um, on the bottom of the fader itself. So basically all mine are set to is my mic, my voice chat, my music, and then my system sounds, which is like my game, um, any sounds coming out of my PC that's not chat or music. Um, and if I hit the mute button, it mutes it to the stream and to whatever else, you know, Discord, whatever else on my computer. So that's how I have mine set up there. Now, this is where you're going to be able to adjust the individual volumes um, of your faders. You can use the faders themselves. Like if you see me moving the music one right here, I'm moving the, the fader on my actual GoXLR and it's moving in the software as well. Um, but the important thing to note here is that there are additional channels in your GoXLR. So you have four faders here, but there are more channels that you can use if you want to. See, like the game channel. I don't have a game fader here. I don't have a console fader or a line-in fader. Um, but you can adjust those volumes here and assign things to those channels, which we'll get into in a few minutes here. Obviously, this is your lighting tab. You can make it look cool however you want. This is how I have mine set up, the, the Vaporwave style. I kind of really like that. Um, but I won't get into lighting too much. So back to the settings we're going to go over. Now, the bleep here this is the volume of this noise right here so if you want to swear on your stream but you don't want people to hear it and you want to go you know if you're like what the f was that that's what that volume is the bleep um so you can adjust that accordingly i found 85 percent work for me pretty good um and over here your headphones level this is the volume of what's coming out of your headphones that you have plugged into your go xlr so it's important to keep in mind though that the go xlr was designed so that you hear exactly what you're transmitting to your stream okay so so whatever is coming through in these cans that you have on your head that's what people are hearing on your stream and that's the best part about the go xlr um it, it makes it so that it's very if your stream is messed up and your audio is messed up you'll know it before you even go live um, so it's extremely beneficial so moving on to the routing tab this here is where you get to choose where certain parts of your audio are being sent to so right now, if I select this right here, this, is, this means that my microphone is going to come into my headphones. So I'm going to be able to hear my own voice. So I'm talking right now, and I can hear my voice in my headphones. I pers Some people like to leave that on while they're streaming. To me, it's a little distracting. So I know my microphone sounds good because I've tested it right now. So I turn that off so I don't hear my microphone in my headphones. Um, right here, we have it so that my chat, which is I use Discord. So my chat is coming to my headphones because I want to hear my teammates and it's being broadcast to my stream as well. So that's how you do that and the same goes for music. What I have assigned to my music fader is coming to my headphones and going out to my stream and my system which is my game sounds like I play Fortnite so my Fortnite audio um, is going to my headphones and then being broadcast to my stream as well. If you're using a dual PC setup you're going to want this stuff going to the line out as well. I'm not using a dual PC setup anymore because my computer is powerful enough to do it on its own now. Um, but if you're using a dual PC setup, this right here is where you would send your chat to your other PC. Send your music to your other PC. Send your mic to your other PC. System sounds, other PC. That's basically how that goes. All right, so honestly, that's really all there is to the software for the Go XLR. It's pretty simple, um, like I said. But here's the tricky part. So if you want to go over to routing, again, we're going to take a look here. So music. So I play music through Spotify, okay? And we want to have our Spotify being controlled by the separate fader that we have here on the Go XLR. You can see it moving up and down on the software because I'm moving in real life. Um, now, it took me a little bit to figure out how to do this, but you can assign certain programs to 
these audio channels that are in the Go XLR. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to open up Spotify. Okay, so I have Spotify opened up on my second screen. You just need to have it playing um, or, or just, you know, something has to be playing from Spotify for it to show up in the audio channels like we're about to take a look at. Okay, and then you're going to come down to the bottom to your taskbar, right click on the um, speaker icon down here and open your sound settings. Okay, and once we're in here, you're going to scroll down advanced sound options at volume and device preferences. Click on that. And now what this is here is it's showing everything in our system right now that is producing some sort of sound and needs to be assigned to a sound channel. So right here, you could see my Spotify. I have it outputting instead of to the default. We don't want it on the default because then it's going to be in the same channel as our Fortnite game sound and we can't, you know, mix the music accordingly with the fader. So you're going to come to the output channel and select the music Go XLR channel. Now what that does is assign it to the music fader on our Go XLR which is pretty sick. It's obviously, I mean, it's so simple, but I didn't even know these options were here. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, so now our music can be controlled with our Go XLR fader and everyone's happy. And obviously if you have other things that you want to assign to these faders, you don't need to keep them as what they're labeled as. Um, you can assign whatever you want to these faders. Um, my discord, I'll show you how I did discord. So to do discord, you're going to open up your discord. Give it a second. Discord takes a little bit to open here. All right, so my Discord is open. I'm going to pull it over to my screen so you guys can see it. You're going to go to your voice and video settings. On your input device, you're going to want to make sure that you have your chat mic on the Go XLR selected. Don't select any other microphones that you have plugged in. You're going to want to use what you have plugged into the Go XLR. So you're going to select your chat mic there. And then the output, this is what you're going to hear and what your stream hears. You're going to choose chat. And what this does here is it binds it to this chat fader on the Go XLR. So the last part of the setup, guys, is after you've done all that and set up all your audio channels, you're going to bring over your OBS. You're going to go to settings, audio, and you're going to disable every device in here except for one microphone device. And under a microphone device, you're going to select broadcast stream mix. And that is basically everything that's going through the Go XLR. Everything you hear in your headphones is now being broadcast to OBS, which will then be broadcast to your stream in one channel. And it's that simple, guys. Your stream is now up. You have audio everywhere. You can control all your audio from the Go XLR. You can EQ your microphone, add effects, do whatever you want to do. And it's that simple. This is hands down the best device that I have purchased for my stream. The way I used to do my audio was I used voice meter um, and I would have that sending signals to my second PC when I used the second PC. It was literally a complete pain in the ass. And the Go XLR, I got the Go XLR Mini because I don't need like the sampler and the, um, the voice effects and stuff like that. Um, but it has made everything so easy for me and if I do want to switch back to a dual PC setup in the future, it's going to be simple. Uh, I mean, this is this has has just changed the game for me. It's so easy, and I absolutely love it. So if there's anything I missed, guys, feel free to drop it in the comments below, and I'll answer your questions there. Or if you want to come hang out on the live streams, I stream 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday through Friday, usually. You can ask me any questions you want on there, or just come hang out. You know, we have fun. We do some viewer games on the weekends. It's a good time. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss the next time I post a video. All right, guys? So if I miss something, I'm sorry. Just drop it in the comments, and I'll try and help from there. All right, guys? So keep your hammers up in the air. Wait a minute. Keep your damn hammers up and happy gaming.